And as interesting as I remember Super Bowl this weekend, how countries and world could spend so much on sports. Mashallah, nobody says no. Our prophet, peace be upon him, was very, very sport-like. He loved sports. He was very athletic. You couldn't even touch him. I was telling a brother recently, one of the top most strongest man in his time by the name of Rukana, a wrestler. He said, I want to go to a match with you. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet sallallahu said, anytime man. I'll take you on anytime. He took the man up and he flipped him three times down. That was our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He wasn't like some of us when we talk and we can't even do anything. He was a man when it comes to physical fitness. That's why he could have had 10, 11 wives. Some of us can't even handle one. That's what you call a man. Pick up the strongest man in the time, the top wrestler, and flip him three times. The man said, you, you got to be the prophet of God. It's not natural for any human being to beat me. All right? Mm -hmm. You couldn't touch him with a sword, with horse riding, with camel riding. He was very athletic. And do you know he jumped on a horse with a lungi? Some of us can't even jump in a horse with a pyjama, fall it for our jeans. It may rip in half. He went on a horse with a lungi. Do you know what's a lungi? Okay. That was a man of sport. So when I talk about... But he didn't make this life a life of only sport. He was athletic. He was physical. He was dynamic. His, he was developed physically, but he was spiritually developed in this world, in this dunya.